Hey guys, it's Barry Clank here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be just doing a bunch of utilities, and we'll be also finishing up that greenhouse that we have. And as you may notice, yes, most of these villagers that were normal are now zombie villagers. That's cause uh, I have changed this whole setup so I can cure a specific villager whenever I want. So let's say I wanted to, now uh, we take for example, we will, we ought to cure this guy. We'll flick the lever and he gets transformed into a zombie villager by that zombie that is just right behind him there. Now he's a zombie villager. Then we can flick the lever, and then we can just cure them when we when we need them. Uh, I would cure them all, but I have literally no gold. I've only used it all pretty much on the man ending villager because I have fully run out, run out of stock there, and some people were asking to stock it back up, so I say that we'll do that first. So let's get to our shop and restock the items. And I also forgot, since now I keep track of what I have, because there was a small incident of stuff being stolen. And I think from from Waffles shops, a bit of got a bit of stuff got sold. Apparently, this whole diamond pile got hollowed out on the inside. So that is not a good thing. I think our waffle uh, put the uh, put the diamonds back in from his own, so it's all full, but still not good. And also, there has been an auction going. It's mostly just waffle stuff, and people can like place bids on them. And I think the auction ends in like a few hours, I believe. And, like I, I bid on a few stuff, like some dirt that we will be using for. Our Upcoming projects, some cobblestone because I have just normal stone and no cobble at all. And all these rails will come in handy probably at some point, probably for the next project also. Uh, I also bid it on some other stuff that might have some slight historical value, I suppose, like this one here. Uh, Lev Leviathan Axe, I have no idea where it came from and who it used to belong to. There was also... Here. Waffle Chestplate and Scorpio bid 192 diamonds. That's a lot and a bit too much. I also found this one that might be of some historical value, so... A possible museum build might be a upcoming thing that we might make. Because I also bid on some... Somewhere over here I bid on a bunch of white co white concrete. So that could be probably used for it. And we could mix it in with some qu quartz. Mm, just a box of some health potions. Because why not? Uh, some glass that might also be used for that build. And uh, other people bid on other stuff. Like here, there's in in our relic kind of thing, but I don't fancy going over that price, as we do not want to spend all our diamonds on just these things. It, it would make it uh, make themselves back sooner or later, but I'd I'd rather have a nice amount of diamonds. But I have twelve of each, so we will take note of that. Twelve. And now we can stock it back up. So we can take the mending and unbreaking. And there's this one weird glitch where if you exit like a UI, it sometimes just puts your head in like a random spot. And that can be quite annoying. And they still have to fix a bunch of bugs in the last update. But that bug is still around, so that didn't get fixed. We stock all of this. And breaking, and breaking, and breaking, mending. Not apples. 
I also got two more uh, farmer villagers which are still yet to be cured since I have no gold. This is really all my gold that I have. So that's another thing. Oh, and I forgot one book. Uh, yeah, this is 12. And also two of our um, kits sold, so that, that's a good sign. Also, we'll probably have to restock golden carrots soon. What else do we have to restock? We definitely have to restock thorns. Efficiency, probably. Uh, maybe. Definitely fortune. Probably feather falling and yeah. So so we have a bunch of stuff that we need to restock. But I'll, I'll come in time and also. When I was just flying around the this place, I found the area that Waffle has bought for his theme park, and it's absolutely massive. Like that's what, like surely more than twenty slots, if not even more. So that would be probably a monstrosity of, of a build. And these ice ice pathways from Mrs. Frostwalker are literally all over the place. If you just look far enough, I'd say three people on the realm now have Fast Walker that I am aware of. But we'll hop back to our base. Okay, we're back here now. And also, if some of you are curious, I can show the redstone behind us. It's honestly not, nothing, nothing fancy, it's just a lever, a piston, just a bit of glass that just stops the zombie from attacking. I have to scratch my head for a very long time why these zombies weren't attacking the villagers and that was like they, they were normally just standing up but in, in a minecart they actually attack it for some reason so I have no idea why that would be maybe it's to do with the hitbox or something like the line of sight I have really no idea how that works so that was that and like to just restock this area I kinda the the longer way where I put the minecart track I had to drag it all the way over there and then all the way around it but then for this side I just went straight and around so that probably sped it up a bit and that came in handy for getting all the zombies because it would have taken a long time to capture them somewhere like outside uh, we'll just go back to bed we'll have to take some out some fireworks one one feature that I kind of miss from the old Legacy Edition. Oh, we actually have the new member that has joined. Hello. And this guy is also a YouTuber. He has, a, I believe, 98 subscribers. And also, guys, thank you for the 60 subscribers. That is a pretty big milestone. I wonder will no. I'm not sure do they have a base yet or not. So that should be a nice thing. And they are a pretty great builder from what I've seen from their videos. So that's a nice thing. But I think now I will go and gather a bunch of materials because I don't really have many different plants or I'll, I'll definitely need to gather some wood for the like the kind of beds on the inside actually do we have any wood here and eh, we have a tiny bit of spruce but we will still need more at least kind of beds maybe like a bit of water running down one side just to make this whole thing look good so I'll be back with a bunch of materials now I've gathered uh, some of these all sorts of various plant materials and I also have a few items that some people may know what we'll be crafting and that will be a netherite hole. <laughs> yep, we are making one at last. Even though it will be completely useless, I have no real other use for the netherite and I had just like one spare ingot lying around. So what other than a diamond hoe, or a netherite one, that we will be fully enchanting.
Yes, you heard me right. Silk touch unbreaking and hold last. Now we need just a few books. I think it's the fortune. No, just this. So we'll be only needing three books. We open this up. Now we have emeralds on us. And we'll be only needing. Of course, the ones that are out of stock. Perfect. I think I will leave the enchanting for another day, actually. We'll just make it into the uh, right one first. That is already the biggest waste. It actually has quite decent damage. <laughs> you could use this as a weapon if you really wanted to. <laughs> I'm fighting off someone with a hoe. <laughs> it would just be funny. I also had to travel all the way to the shopping district once again just to get a few moss blocks from ar around my shop because I guess I have none on me. So that was a round trip again. But that, let's hop into a time lapse and start a transformation. Okay guys, as you saw in the time lapse, we are fully finished with this place and it looks really nice. It looks way better with the shaders, but it still looks fabulous with, without them. I didn't really have a plan on how to put 
and where to put what so I just went with the flow and it turned out really nicely this staircase might be different and this is kind of like a whole moss area and I added some of these hanging things from the ceiling and I might also add some chains later on with some lanterns just hanging from the ceiling just to have a light because these stairs just don't look too great also as I was rec recording the auction has ended so we will go and collect our stuff from the auction that we won and we will have to spend a bit of diamonds to actually pay them so let's get to it okay guys now we are at the shopping district and it's time to actually collect our auctions and I'm not sure how it will work so do So we'll be collecting all our items now that we've gotten from the shops, I mean from the auction. So this isn't ours, this one is ours, so that will be 10 diamonds. <laughs> you how we'll be spending so much on this. So that is one of our shulkers, our valuables one. Then... Here, this one is eight diamonds. Eight, so that goes to that pile. That's MC. Ah, here's our rail box. This will come in handy. Another eight. Oh my god, almost have a stack. I actually have to craft some of these into normal diamonds. We will definitely be spending more than a stack. Here is our other shulker. That's another eight. Eight. And that's another eight. So I'll be back once I have all of these collected. Okay, now I have them all collected, and we will be spending a whopping uh, st a stack and forty-five diamonds. This is crazy. Where do we put the payment? And where is Waffle gone? No, he's still right here. Ah, yes. I am behind you. <laughs> Can you see? <laughs> Waffle becoming rich once again. Just look at that. <laughs> uh, he was rich anyway. I'm just adding to his wealth at this point. Very much. But guys, I think this will be it for this episode, so this was Party Clank, and I'm out. Mm -hmm.